A miniature replica of Canada is set to open in Toronto this year with many travel plans out the window. Little Canada may be our best opportunity to visit other parts of the country. Jean-Louis Brennickmeyer joins us this morning with a sneak peek at Little Canada. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. How are so, you? Good. I, I like where you're sitting right now <laughs> with Hamilton behind you. Yes, it's the. Uh, it's actually a picture of the model of the Tafasco steel mill that we built for our golden, sh golden horseshoe destination. Now, you came to Canada a few decades ago from Brussels. I believe you landed in Oakville. Correct. So back in 1999, uh, me and my wife and my oldest son, who was six months old at the time, we landed in May 99. Uh, and uh, moved into a rental house in Oakville, correct? And you fell in love with the country, and this is your way of paying tribute to it. Uh, what was the, the, the first seeds of this little Canada for you? Well, to be honest with you, Bob, it was um, really through, through my boys. Uh, I've got four boys. When they went into grade four, they had to do the province project for school. And um, parents get involved, well, at least my wife and I, we got heavily involved in those projects. And we learned more about Canada as a country through those projects than we did by just living here. Well, and let's take a look at uh, some... Yeah, we're going to take a look at some of Little Canada here because it is breathtaking, the uh, level of detail here. What is the scale? The yeah, scale is 1 to 87. Mm -hmm. So... Imagine a person is about uh, three quarters of an inch tall, an average person. Uh, a car is, um, yeah, would fit in the palm of your hand very easily. And that's, that's the, the scale. Uh, we have had to cheat in certain cases, like the Rogers Center is actually in the scale of one to 150. Um, and even then it's five feet by five feet uh, footprint, uh, the Rogers Center, the CN Tower, we had to shorten. Otherwise, yeah. it would have projected right through the roof. <laughs> through the uh, ceiling. <laughs> now, you can yes. actually, uh, we can incorporate ourselves. You you can become a little Canadian? Yes. So we have what we call our littleization station, and that allows you to be scanned. There's 120 cameras that take a picture of you, 360 degrees. And then you can pick from, let's say, two or three pictures that you've been taken. And then we will uh, 3D print you in the scale of 1 to 87. And oh, that's pretty opportunity. cool. Yeah, you can be put in into our world. You decide where. Uh, there you see. Um, and then uh, you can also take home, or we will send to you at home, a 5-inch or a 7-inch or even a 9-inch version of yourself. Wow, well, every Canadian should take part in that. Now, tell me about the technology here, using laser printers, and who are the modelers? So we use, our, our workhorse is actually a laser cutter engraver. It's a, imagine it's a laser that cuts the pieces of wood or acrylic. And with those pieces, we glue the pieces together to make a model. That's one, the one technology. The other technology we use is 3D printers. Uh, we've only just started those, that technology in the last few years. But with that, we can make cars, we can make um, intrinsic, intrinsic, intricate details for the buildings and for the models. And, the and modelers uh, are, sorry? Yeah, I was gonna ask, it was, yes, I was gonna ask you about the modelers. So where, where do they come from? Because it, it sounds like an amazing job. Well, initially, we, we, we brought on board uh, um, modelers from the hobby, from the hobby, um, model railroad hobby. Right. We then attracted a number of models from the architectural modeling industry. And now we have various individuals come to yeah. us. Whether they're well, what's, the the cost? what's the cost of this thing? I'm not getting in, I'm talking about the production of it. And what was the toughest so it's destination? it's very labor intensive. It's very labor intensive. So uh, we say we used a million dollars for one destination 
and it takes a year to build. Wow, amazing. We can't wait to see the whole thing, all of this great country shrunk in little Canada. So of course with the pandemic, that's a little bit in flux uh, for a Dundas Square, but you're looking at when for an opening? Uh, hopefully early summer this year, depending on the environment. Um, okay. Well, yeah. we will continue to uh, follow and uh, looking forward to actually getting there and seeing this amazing creation. Thank you so much. We'll link up the website at chh.com for Little Canada. Thank you, Jean-Louis Brennickmeyer. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for having me.